Even though this show got canceled after only four seasons, I loved Victorious. This show is partially responsible for turning Victoria Justice and Ariana Grande into the megastars they are today, but that doesn't mean that Nickelodeon didn't sneak a few dirty jokes into the script here and there. Before I go ahead and ruin your childhood, make sure you click those like and subscribe buttons for more dirty jokes from Obsev. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and today we're covering the top dirty jokes from Victorious. <laughs> Number 6. In this episode, Tori is having trouble shoving her horn in her locker. She just doesn't understand why she has to play an instrument when her talents clearly lie elsewhere. My throat is my instrument. I'm a throat player. Doesn't count. And it sounds kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, Tori, being a throat player does sound kind of gross. Although it would definitely make you a lot more popular with the guys at Hollywood Arts High. Think about it. Number 5. When Beck's dad gets attacked by a dog, they whisk him away in an ambulance to the hospital. One of the EMTs lingers around after loading him into the bus and says this. Hey, are you in college yet? Bye! <laughs> okay, these kids are clearly in high school. Also, doesn't it take at least a few years of medical training to become an EMT? This chick is probably what, like 25 years old? Women can be creepy too, guys. Just saying. Number four. When Kat tries to improve her special effects makeup skills on Tori, things go horribly wrong. She tries to turn Tori into a zombie, but accidentally uses industrial grade cement for the makeup because she thought the little bear on the bottle was cute. Tight. Tori ends up looking like a total monster, so Trina tries to help her out by calling the doctor to see if there's anything they can do. That's when this happens. Uh, listen, while I've got you on the phone, would I need my parents' permission to have minor cosmetic surgery? Trina! <laughs> Hang up. I gotta go. Uh, what do you say? That I have to be 18 before you can make About my me! Okay, don't pretend you didn't see Trina glance down at her tatas. Come on, girl, you don't need a boob job. You're in high school. Give those itty bitty titties some time to grow. And remember, just because you don't have big hooters doesn't mean that they can't be just as nice. Little owls are still owls, dude. Number three. When rapper Fat Biscuit and his friends spot their old RV in the parking lot, they take a little time to reminisce about the good old days. Fat Biscuit's friend asks him this. Hey, Fat Biscuit. What's up? <laughs> Isn't this your old RV? With the bulletproof windows? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> we got some times in there. <laughs> Don't talk about it. I don't know if there was some fucking going on in there or just some good old fashioned drug doing, but honestly, neither of those things should be implied on a kid's show. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs and always use protection. Number two. What's a kid's show without a little foot fetish subplot, huh? In this episode, Beck and Andre convince Jade to touch Andre's super soft foot, but it kind of seems like she enjoys the experience a little too much. <laughs> Dang, dude. Some soft footage. I don't know, that's what I said. I mean, really? Let's be serious here. Oh, yeah. That's a nice foot. Right? I know. Wow. <laughs> so My golden rule is if you can find it in a personal ad on Craigslist, maybe it shouldn't be on Nickelodeon. Number one. Okay, this was my favorite episode of Victorious because it mirrored The Breakfast Club perfectly. This dirty joke is kind of hard to follow if you've never seen The Breakfast Club, but don't worry, I'll spell it out for you. In The Breakfast Club, Bender starts taunting Claire, asking her if she's ever been sexually active. Claire responds that she isn't as pristine as everyone thinks she is, so Bender goes a little further, asking her if she's a virgin or if she's ever been felt up. Keeping that in mind, watch this. Our pristine little friend Kat has never had a taco. Not that pristine. Wait, what's pristine mean? Are you a vegan? All right, kids, let's go over these euphemisms together. Ready? In this scene, taco is a code word for sex and vegan is a code word for virgin. I don't know about you, but I love tacos too much to ever go back to being a vegan. Did I miss any of your favorite dirty jokes from Victorious? Let me know in the comments section after you like and subscribe. I'll be back next week to ruin your childhood, but in the meantime, I'ma get me some tacos.